Hey, now that I got back home with the herring, uh, I'm going to pick out some of the bigger ones to eat tonight for dinner. But for the most part, we're going to brine, or not brine them, but we're going to prepare these up for, uh, to freeze them and then use them for bait for uh, striped bass and salmon. So I want to show you guys how we do that. Okay, so like the first thing you want to do when you're catching these herring is uh, have like an ice, have ice and uh, some water in there, kind of like a solution so that it gets them nice and chilled when it, you take them off the hook and throw them into here. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to take take a herring. There's a little bit, there's some slime on them. We're going to dip them in some fresh water, and then we're going to bring them over here to the towel, and we're going to set them down like this. And I'm going to do that until I got all these herring processed. And then I'll, I'll come back and show you what it looks like and what we're gonna do next. There's like, in this slurry, there's a bunch of like, uh, it's, it's kind of milky looking. And you know, that's from the sperm from these things. They're spawning and stuff. And so we wanna, we wanna rinse them in the water, kind of get that off. And it also gets the loose scales off. And I'm putting them over on this towel for right now. But, and I'm grabbing a few of them at a time. Give them a good dunk. This is rain water. Uh, where I live, I got sulfur water, so I'm not using that. This is actually rain water. I'm bringing them over to the towel. And then when I get them over here, I'm doing my best to kind of straighten them out because they're going to be frozen in this position. So I want them to get nice and straight. Oh, great. Yeah. Anyhow, um, Straighten them out a little bit. And what I'm going to do is when I get these laid out halfway, I'm going to take this towel, I'm going to fold it over, and then that's going to kind of pat dry them on both sides. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get the moisture off of them. We want the moisture off of them really good before we freeze them, so that way there's no ice crystals in there or whatever. So it doesn't destroy the bait. It keeps it as nice and tight as possible. Um, and you're going to see that I don't have a vacuum sealer. That's ideally how you do it. We're going to be using just uh, gallon baggies and putting them in and going to sort them by size. And these larger ones, we're going to actually cook up tonight and actually eat them. They're fresh. They're going straight from the ocean today. And I like any kind of herring, sardines, anything like that. So, all right, stay tuned. So now what I did was I took this towel underneath here and I folded it over. Went, I went like that over on there and I'm kind of gently patting them, trying to get the moisture off. And of course I I didn't split it right, so I grabbed another towel. So one also thing you want to remember is you better make sure you wash this immediately or you could be buying some new beach towels for the family. So we're gonna give them a nice little nap Tuck them in gently, pr gently pat on them. Okay, now I'm going to put another layer here and try to try to fold it a little bit better so that it's more in half. Okay, now we've done a second layer here, and they've been sitting under here, this, this towel, sleeping. See that? We're pat drying them. We're getting the, trying to get as much moisture off of them as possible before we put them in the bags. So these guys here, we're going to go ahead and fry up tonight for dinner. These are eating size here. All right, we're down to the last bag, I think. Kind of want to show you what I came up with. It's been working pretty good. This is how I also, well, you're going to see how I vacuum seal. It's the same way that I did it uh, in Alaska with salmon eggs when I lived up in Alaska. But we're just going to stick them in here like this, opposite each other, one, one back and forth like this. Give a nice little final resting place. One good thing about this uh, towel method here is it's, it's damp. So it has taken a lot of the moisture out of, the, out of them, any loose scales, any of the, uh, anything like that. Um, and they're tacky.
kind of just like uh, like salmon eggs. Like when you're getting ready to cure salmon eggs in a borax or good and tacky. So you get them in here like this. I'm trying to speed up the process here. We're down to just a few more little, little nuggets here. These are going to be good bait. We're going to use these for stripers, salmon. Uh, my buddy's going catfishing on the Snake River. He'll be taking them there. I was going to go on that trip, but instead I'm going to go to Miller Lake with him and catch German browns and rainbows on another weekend. Anyhow, see, I kind of roll them back and forth a little bit, get them like that. Oh, this is working out exactly perfect. Okay, so now... Don't be grossed out. These are fresh fish. They came just from the ocean just hours ago. I just cleaned them off. There's nothing. Big deal. Big deal. I got to get the air out. So what I do, and it's, it's not as good as a vacuum sealer, obviously. But I just close it all the way to the end. Let me see here. See if I can show you on camera. Keep constant pressure, and you've seen the bag kind of collapse a little bit like that. You know, it is, it's definitely not vacuum seal quality, but it still looks pretty good. And I'm just real gentle like with them. Come over here. You can see what we, what we got for baits today. We've got two trays here. Uh, we're getting about two, four, six, eight. So that's 16 per bag. And anyway... That's how I'm making bait this year for salmon and stripers and Father's Day present. <laughs> Thanks for watching.